everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen. And today I'm going to be making a buffalo chicken pizza and in order to do that we need to start off with some buffalo sauce. Now, the other day I made some buffalo roasted buffalo chicken and I made this sauce and I made a video but the camera crapped out on me and I lost it. I lost two videos. I lost the sauce and I lost the roasted buffalo chicken video. So I'm going to have to do that again. But in any case, we're, we're back. We're doing it over again. And in order to make this sauce, which is a basic buffalo sauce, like you would use for wings or any kind of chicken or any kind of dipping, but I kind of add a few things to it that our family likes quite a bit. You start off with one stick of butter that has been melted. And then to that, you're going to add a cup of Frank's Red Hot. And I have to recommend this one exclusively. Frank's is the original Red Hot sauce. Um, it's the original sauce that was used in the original buffalo uh, style wings that you were made like at, the, buffalo sauce. at the Anchor Bar in Buffalo, New York. Um, so we start off with the melted butter. We add the sauce in there. I'm also going to add about two to three cloves of minced garlic. So that's about a tablespoon of minced garlic. And then we're going to add some dry seasonings. I have a teaspoon each of onion powder, garlic powder, Hungarian sweet paprika, and um, celery seed. Because, you know, when you get wings, they serve them with celery stalks. So I thought, why not go ahead and put the celery seed right there in the sauce, and it's going to give that little hint of celery already in there already. Hmm? All right. It's already ready already. We'll just give this a good whisk around. And then if you were making wings, like when I the other night when I roasted my chicken pieces, I actually dipped the pieces in the sauce, put them on a rack, and roasted them for about a half an hour. But if you were making wings, you would fry them off, and then you would put them in a container and shake them about with this sauce, and then serve more sauce on the side. And that is how you make amazing, pumped up for our family, buffalo wing sauce. And today I'm actually going to use it on a pizza. And I'm going to share that with you in a moment. Do you want to taste it, honey? Of course. Of course. What do you think? Mm. Mm. That's it. Good? Mm -hmm. All righty then. Okay, that's what we did. I hope you try this. I hope you love it. I'll put the recipe on my website so you can go print it out and keep it for yourself. And you can find that at noreenskitchen.com. And um, I love it when you stop by. So thanks for coming and visiting with me this evening. And until next time, I'll see ya.